Hi. Hi. Welcome back to June's Craft Room. Um, I just wanted to show you my other flip through of the new journal that I've finished. This is a ring bind journal. And I've done um, like a multimedia on top. So I've got some little wood pieces that have been painted and uh, punched out words. And I've done some pattern paper underneath, some stencils. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Oh, some stamping. Yeah, did quite a few things on this one. Now, this is um, a kit from My Porch Prints. And it's such a beautiful... The pictures are so beautiful that I didn't really want to spoil it with anything else. So, I think... I left... Um, excuse me. I left a lot of space for writing... Uh, drawing, putting pictures in, um, could be all related to sewing if you wanted it to be. There's plenty of um, journal cards or little things that you can uh, write on the back of. I'm not going to pull those out because I always like a little bit of a surprise for the person that purchases it. Um, envelopes, obviously there's things in the envelopes. But I, I'm, yeah, just some stamped words. But I think the pictures are absolutely beautiful. This is just one October page, again, full. And this one's got some tiny little ones where you can pull out all different ones. And then on the page edges, I think you can see it, you've got some little dangles. It's a bit hard to see when it's lying down. But yeah, it's got some little dangles. So that one's a scissor or scissors. This is a big, big card, this one. Yeah. But aren't the pictures just absolutely gorgeous? I've got plenty of little pockets. Places where you can tuck things in. More beautiful pictures. More little tuck spots and a little tiny envelope. And yes, that has something in it. And this little dangle here is um, tape measure. And this one here, I will show you. This is like um, what I've called a sample. And in the sample is just lots of layers of lace and different things that I had sort of like sample packs that you might have so and you can lift them up yeah so I really love that one so that's the sample one again lots of little places you can pull things out this one's got um, a button on it a button on it Beautiful pictures again, beautiful little pockets full of little things that you can write on. And the last one's got um, a Singer sewing machine. Just push it up a bit. Singer sewing machine there. Might be better if I turned it around. There you can see, Singer sewing machine. Little tuck spot again with an envelope. Um, old tea stain pa pages. I don't do coffee stain. There, little again, little top, lots of uh, tuck spots. Little pa pages in the papers in there. Lots of places for journaling, pictures, etc. And then we're coming to the back, and we've got just the last page there. I just think that this one just lends itself. I really didn't want to go um, overboard with what I put in it because I just think that the, the pictures are absolutely beautiful. Um, the back has just got a um, just a, another picture on it that's been cut out. So a little ring binder. You can I don't know if you can quite see, but yeah, they do sit out quite nice. Just um, on it that one. They do sit out quite nice on the edge. So 
that's all I've got for today. I'll be back in hopefully a few days time. I'm trying to get some of the journals that I haven't got finished, finished, um, so that I can start on new projects. So thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed that little flip through and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.